This warm air advection allows us to not only see more rain, but to see the snow levels climb up pretty high. So far this morning, your temperatures as we get started, 55 degrees in Sacramento. When will we see it? Here's your future cast. Checking out by Sunday, 7.30 a.m. We're looking at, of course, the areas of green indicating where we would see some of those showers. The rain hasn't slowed our food drive down at all. In fact, we've had several people come through and make donations, which is great news. We'll be out here until 6 o'clock. First, we want to talk about your weather, though, and what we can expect for the rest of the afternoon. And you can see how easy it would be for a small fire to become very large in a short amount of time. In fact, as we check out our wind speeds here, coming from the north, right now averaging about seven to eight miles per hour. We are live at SeaWorld in the wild Arctic. Can't you tell? We're surrounded by ice and chilly water and of course the beluga whale. So this is a big part of the whale watching game as you sit and you wait quietly. We've already seen some whales actually mating. After being in SeaWorld's care for nearly three weeks, it's healthy now and it's ready to get back to life as usual. Good morning to you. Let's take a look at your current temperatures as you step out the door. Temperature in Sacramento 55. We have 59 San Francisco under cloudy skies, 51 Santa Rosa over there. Visibility down to about a mile and a half, 56 in Modesto. And this morning in Auburn, just 61 degrees. So looking at your satellite image over the last 12 hours, we've still been under this ridge of high pressure. But look at this nice big fat low right here sitting offshore, waiting to make its entrance into the northern portions of California. Chance of rain for us as we move into Friday evening, but more likely as we move into Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So here's your future cast heading into Friday evening. Again, watching that area of low pressure kind of help break down that area of high pressure we've been uh, pleasantly enjoying all week long. So temperatures will drop down. Again, chance for rain best for us as we get into Friday night. And we're looking at a second wave coming through Saturday evening, giving us perhaps measurable amounts of rain. And then, of course, we'll be getting back to sunny skies. Temperatures overall tomorrow, 85. Through Thursday 85, Friday dropping that down to 80, 79 Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, back to the mid to low 80s, mostly clear skies, overnight lows in the low 50s. We'll send it back to you. <laughs> you might as well have been in your bathing suit today because temperatures were a good 15 degrees above average. And I'll give you a guess as to what kind of record we broke today. Well, Any we guess? know. We're going to let you reveal it. Yeah, it's because it's so uh, odd. Yeah, it is. It really is. And it's with these northerly winds that we tend to see dramatic things happening around Sacramento. In fact, a 30-foot tree fell right over just like nothing. Now, wind speeds were gusting up to about 35 miles per hour in the Sacramento area. Now, hard to say whether this tree was already on its way out and it just took a little bit of wind to take it over. Uh, we'll be doing some tree investigation a little bit later. <laughs> so as we take a look at this camera live over Sacramento, look at how much it's shaking. Uh, so still winds pretty strong out there out of the north, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. So here's your record that we had. 81 degrees, Sacramento Executive Airport breaking a record that was set back in 2008 of 79 degrees. Our low temperature from this morning, 42. We had 40 degrees this morning in Stockton, hitting a high of 70. And our sunset tonight at 453. And with those shorter days, you tend to feel those cooler temperatures. Not the case for us at all today. And in fact, we're going to see more of the same tomorrow. At the moment, we have 73 degrees in Fairfield and 70 in Sacramento, 66 in Auburn. So you could step outside at this moment. You wouldn't even need a jacket where normally you would. Here are your wind speeds in Sacramento, north 18 miles per hour. Calm down in Auburn right now, calm at the moment, east at five in Stockton. And we're also seeing small improvements or at least a calm down of the wind in Marysville north at about 10 miles per hour at the moment. So tonight, temperature in the valley dropping down into the low to mid 60s. Winds pick up again tomorrow morning, seven o'clock 52 degrees and by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon above average temperatures return 74 degrees winds won't be quite as strong tomorrow afternoon but still north at about 13 to 18 miles per hour foothill areas looking nice and clear tonight beautiful stars out there 61 degrees tomorrow morning waking up to breezy conditions temperatures in the low 60s by tomorrow afternoon 70 degrees winds will also slow down as we get to tomorrow night Sierra, of course, chilly tonight. Waking up tomorrow morning, temperature of 32 degrees in Lake Tahoe. Winds northeast at about 9 miles per hour. Winds start to relax as we get to tomorrow afternoon with a temperature of 42. Wind at that time will be out of the east at about 7 miles per hour. 
And as we check out our Bay Area forecast tonight, nice and clear 61 degrees tomorrow morning, waking up to very cool conditions, just 56 and pleasant conditions tomorrow afternoon. Out at the Gold Golden Gate Bridge, 72 degrees. Wind will be a little bit lighter out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour. So coming up a little bit later in the newscast, we'll tell you how much longer the wind and the warmth is going to last and if snow is anywhere in that seven day. A little bit later. The season tickets going on sale, various ski resorts. In fact, Oriole talking about opening up this Friday. That'd be exciting. That would be pretty interesting. So far, they've only received about two to three inches of snow, but it's something. You're looking at a live picture. From Stockton, wet roads everywhere, and on average, most of our valley locations so far have received about five hundredths of an inch. Uh, some areas closer to the foothills, about eight hundredths um, to tenths of an inch. So a little bit here and there, but look at where we're seeing some of the heavier rainfall taking place, showing us in our live radar over Jackson areas indicated in yellow, showing us where heavier showers are falling also just to the east of Auburn. So wherever you're driving here in the next uh, hour to two hours, do be careful and give yourself some extra time. Also just outside of Orland, we're seeing some heavier showers north of Willows. And as you head further south along I-5 into Patterson, They'll be seeing some heavier showers here in the next 15 to 20 minutes. And of course, the snow as you go along I-80 heading into Truckee, but you have to at least pass Blue Canyon before you see any of the snow up there. So as we check out your current temperature right now, Sacramento 59 degrees. We have 63 in San Francisco, 56 in Marysville, 54 in Auburn and 43 degrees in Truckee. Compared to the wild Bering Sea, commercial fishermen here have it pretty easy. We linked up a local crab fisherman with those from the deadliest catch. Watch as they compare notes. Alaska's ruthless Bering Sea. San Diego. Waves towering over 50 feet. Watch out. Hang on, hang on. La Jolla swells two to three feet. The ocean's heaven and hell, like this close together. One second is heaven and the next second is hell. Longtime local fisherman Lauro Saraspi has a healthy respect for the ocean and knows Southern California cannot compare to the stormy seas of Alaska. You don't even go out the Mission Bay jetty when it's rough, when the surf is three or four feet, five feet high. And up there they, they fish in 20, 30 foot swells, waves. And it's, it's amazing. I mean, there's, there's just no comparison. Lauro and his son Andy are not just fishermen, but avid deadliest catch nice viewers. Catch but when you talk to the captains of this reality show, they say the cameras only catch a portion of what really goes on out there. When you start watching in, uh, in April, you're six months behind what we did. Even with all the camera crew, dog and pony show, these captains remain true to their roots, as humble as can be. Everybody makes such a fuss about us wherever we go, and it's certainly gratifying to get the recognition, but also, you know, I'm just a fisherman, and that's all. So we're just crabbers. We're not actors. Or, we're just guys. While this is a TV show to us, it's still a job to them, a job they rely on to bring in cash. So what's the future of crabbing in Alaska? I'm a little worried we might be over harvesting the king crab, but we'll find out when we get the next survey. You know, fire season is definitely here. You can feel it and you can smell it. And though we haven't seen many large scale wildfires this season, that doesn't mean it's safe to let your guard down. At least three brush fires in Vacaville and one near Williams, all sparking near freeways, remind us it doesn't take much to spark a flame. We had some precipitation, we've had cooler weather, but these north winds that we're starting to see uh, actually bring the fire danger back up. The conditions are dry, the, the, the grass is extremely dead. Low humidity and of course uh, dry conditions, along with the high winds, the perfect formula for fires. So with high wind warnings and red flag warnings issued all the way from the Bay Area to the northern Sacramento. Sacramento Valley's firefighters are going to be very busy the next couple of days. And of course, we've been checking out our wind speeds averaging between four to five miles per hour, but the occasional gusts reaching up to 21 miles per hour. The number of wildfires this year is pretty, uh, pretty in line with last year, but the acreage is significantly less. This harbor seal pup can smell freedom in the air. 
He spent the last three weeks under SeaWorld's care. And now he's well enough to go back to the wild. Harbor seals tend to be a little more solitary. He's actually a pup from this season, so he probably pupped out in January, February. So he is a young guy. He knows when we're coming with the fish. He gets right in the pool and starts eating the fish really well, which is great for us because that lets us know he's ready to be released. Nearly three weeks ago, the seal was rescued at Children's Pool in La Jolla. He was living with a strand of fishing line around his neck and hook in his mouth. SeaWorld says his wounds were not as bad as they could have been. They treated the pup with antibiotics to prevent infection, and now he's in good shape. He wasn't here very long either, so, How much? so we're good. A couple pounds, so that's good for an animal this size. That's always encouraging. So encouraging that even the dolphins were standing by to say a final farewell to the pup. Now with the seal in the transport container, we're homeward bound. This is the most rewarding part of the job right here, what we're doing today. On the way out to the Point Loma kelp beds, we wave to some friendly faces. All the while, we're anticipating the big release. Sometimes I catch myself looking at the seal, wondering if he knows he's going home. In just a moment, this harbor seal pup is going to be released into the Point Loma kelp beds. After being in SeaWorld's care for nearly three weeks, it's healthy now and it's ready to get back to life as usual. Cautiously, he wiggles his body over the edge and he's in. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He gave us a good chase, swimming fast as if he knows this place like the back of his flippers. Every so often, those beady eyes would surface. I bet he thinks this is a game disappearing like a marine mammal Houdini. Eventually, we had to say our goodbyes, comforted by the thought that he's home where he belongs. Natasha Stenbach, News 8.